First of all, I'd just like to welcome everybody today to, uh, and thank you for coming for, to this special day in both of our families' lives, the marriage of Gio and Amanda. And you all are special, very special to our family, and we love everybody that's here. Okay. Uh, I would also especially like to thank Gio's parents for sponsoring a, a wonderful uh, rehearsal dinner last night. Everybody had a good time, shared a lot of stories, memories, a lot of dancing. It was great. Thank you very much. Where are you? I would especially... Where's my towel? I forgot it last time. I'm not forgetting it this time. I'm like John Boehner. I can't help it. Okay. I would especially like to thank my beautiful wife, wife Lynn, for giving me two wonderful daughters and teaching them how to become two young, beautiful, wonderful young women. Thank you very much, and I love you. Gio, you've unofficially been part of the family now for about five and a half years. So tonight, I want to officially welcome you to the family. And now you're stuck with all of us. I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. Um, I truly admire all your accomplishments. At such a young age, UF undergrad, UF med school, Emory University residency, and now you guys are headed to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. But to me, your greatest achievement. <laughs> is marrying my daughter, Amanda. And as now my son-in-law, there's certain things that I expect from you. <laughs> A lot was addressed today in your vows, and that was amazing. You know, I expect you to keep her happy. I expect you to keep her safe. I expect you to be a good provider for her, make her number one in your life, like she wants to make you number one in her life, be a great life partner. And I have no doubt that you'll, you'll do that. If I had any doubt whatsoever, uh, meeting all of your family, friends, hearing stories, um, they're just all amazing people. And I can tell everybody is quality people, high character, and that just bodes so well for you. Who you pick is friends and wonderful family, so I have no doubt that you're going to meet my expectations very easily. Amanda, my precious, smart, beautiful, and talented baby girl. You've always been a kind, caring, loving child. You've never ceased to amaze me from your athleticism, dancing, singing, acting, your scholastic achievements, your work ethic, and your selfless act of volunteering. You've been a real joy to have as our daughter. And, uh, you know, I wish the people that was mentioned in the vows that, uh, that are not here could be here to see you, but I'm sure they're looking down and they actually know. It seems like yesterday that you were playing with your dolls, Pooh Bear, dancing to Barney in front of the TV, and here we are today. It's been an amazing journey with you so far from the time you were born to now, a mature young woman and a new bride. I'm excited to see what lies ahead now that you and Gio are joined as one. Together you're an unstoppable team. I love you so much. My advice for both of you is to remember marriage is a work in progress, challenges, adventures, and compromise. Just know that we will always be there for you and we love you both. So right now I'd like everybody to raise their glass. Can I have a glass please? and making a toast to Gio and Amanda. May life become all that you want it to be. 
May your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. May you have a long life of good health, love, and happiness, and may God bless you both and your marriage. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much.